Good evening, Miss Quinzel. I'm surprised you wanted to intern at Arkham. Well, I've always had a thing for extreme personalities, ever since my father became a con man and ruined the family. Well then, be ready for anything. This way. The next day. Hmm. Care to tell me how this got to my desk? I put it there. I think the guards and Dr. Leyland would be interested to know you've been out of your cell. If you were really going to tell, you already would have. You know, miss, I like what I've heard about you. Especially the name. Harleen Quinzel. When you rework it, you get Harley Quinn. Like the clown character, Harlequin. I know, I've heard it before. It's a name that puts a smile on my face. It makes me feel like there's someone here I can relate to. Someone I can tell my secrets to. You know, my father used to beat me up pretty bad. Every time I got out of line, BAM! Or sometimes I'd just be sitting there, minding my own business. Uh-huh. There was only one time I saw Dad truly happy. He took me to the circus when I was seven. Oh, I still remember the clowns running around dropping their pants. <laughs> My old man laughed so hard, I thought he'd bust in a gut. <laughs> So the very next night, when Dad staggered home from the bar, I ran up to greet him, wearing his best Sunday pants around my ankles. Hi, Dad. Look at me. <laughs> and zip, I took a big brat fall and tore the crotch clean out of his pants. <laughs> <laughs> of course, out of that, he broke my nose. But hey, that's one of the painful truths of comedy. You're always taking shots from folks who just don't get the joke. Like my dad. Or Batman. It soon became clear to me that the Joker, so often described as a raving homicidal madman, was actually a lost, injured child crying out for love and acceptance, a tortured soul trying to make the world laugh at his antics. And there, as always, was the self-righteous Batman. Yes, I admit it. As unprofessional as it sounds, I have fallen in love with my patient. Pretty crazy, huh? Not at all. As a dedicated, career-oriented young woman, you felt the need to isolate from all amusement and fun. It's only natural you'd be attracted to a man who could make you laugh again. I knew you'd understand. Any time. Bless the poor thing, out there, all alone. They've got him. Let me see. Let me see him. <laughs> no! 
that night. Say hello to your new improved Harley Quinn.